Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this case, I will explain you how to create 3D animated textures. This is the following tutorial to how to create 3D models. In this case, we're going to create animated textures, such as the one you're seeing right now. So, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, we have to create the model and the texture. To do that, we will use Blockbench as I suggested in the 3D models video. So, let's open it. We will create a java block item because I want to replace, in this case, an axe, and that is an item. I will call it Thor Hammer, and that's it. Let's confirm. Now I will create it. It will take me some time. I will not show you how to because I already did it in the previous video. So you will see a fast motion of the process. Let's begin. Now, this is the model. I don't know if I like it. Anyways, I can make changes later. Now, let's create the texture. We will create the texture in the same way we would normally do, following the same steps I already explained in the 3D model tutorial. So just let's create the texture, without thinking in different states, without thinking animated textures, we are just going to create the texture. We select the folder with everything and create texture. And the pixel density, remember, is the amount of quality it will have. Now it's time to paint. Okay, so the texture is ready. It's not the best, but it's just an example. Let's save it. And now let's do the animation part. How does the animation part work? Well, Minecraft searches for frame. So what are we going to do is to duplicate these textures as many frames as we would like in vertical. That means, for example, if I want five frames of animation and my texture is 256 in this case I will need to create a texture with dimensions of 256 by 1280 in that way we would have the textures five times vertical and each texture will be a frame in the first part of the animation I would like the letters of the hammer to glow to achieve it I will create eight frames how can we create such a file texture? Well, you can do it using Photoshop, Paint.net, or any application. In my case, I will use the same app I have showed you, Paint.net. Let's open the texture file. Here we have. And now it's time to create the file texture I saved. In this case, I want 8 frames, so it will be 256 times 8. Finally the dimensions are 256 and 2048. Let's create it. Here it is. Now let's add 8 times the texture we have. We get it from here and we paste it here. Then we paste it again. For example, we can see that this texture wasn't correctly pasted, so be careful. Here it is. Anyways, any problem in the texture, we will check it inside Blockbench. Now, how do we do the animation? I will not ask you to edit the textures here. It can be confusing to know what part is each one in our model. What are we going to do is to save this file. So let's go to File, Save. And I will call it Thor Hammer Texture Animated. Let's save it and now let's go back to Blockbench. Now here in Blockbench we are going to import a texture. The texture will be the one that we created. Perfect. Now we are going to click our folder and we are going to drag the texture we created that we can see it has 1 over 8 frames 
we are going to drag it inside the folder. How can we know it works? Because with this bar we can check each frame of the animation. We can see that every frame is the same. That's normal. We copied and pasted the same texture. This is what happens when you do improperly the file of textures. You can see that it wasn't pasted correctly. Each frame looks very bad. So you have to be very careful when you are creating the texture. Now let's do the gluing part. What I'm going to do. The frame 1 and the frame 8 will be the hammer without glowing. The frame 2 and 7 with a little bit of glowing. 3 and 6 with more glowing. And 4 and 5 with the maximum of glowing. There will be a little difference between 4 and 5 that I will show you later. So since many frames will be duplicated, we can create it one time and then on paint.net we can duplicate it and paste it in the position of the frame we want. So let's create the frame 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's select ourselves in the frame 2 and let's paint. This is as easy as it sounds. I will not explain very much. You just have to paint what you want in the frame you want. Perfect, we have the frame 2 ready. Now if we move on to the frame 3, we can see that we are not starting from the frame 2. If you would like to, you can go to paint.net, copy and paste the frame 2 in the position of the frame 3, so you can start from the previous frame. Since I don't want that, I don't need it, but if you would like to, you can. Let's create the frame 3. We are ready and now let's create the frame 4. We are ready. Now I would like the frame 5 to start from the frame 4. So I will do what I say. And that's all. Now let's open paint.net, copy the frame 2 into the frame 7, the frame 3 into the frame 6, and the frame 4 into the frame 5, so we can then edit it inside Blockbench, the frame 5. After editing the frame 5, we would be ready with the model and the texture. Let's go. Let's save the texture, and let's open paint.net. And let's do what I said, the frame 2 into the frame 7. Make sure you are pasting it correctly and let's press enter. Now the frame 3 into the frame 6. Copy and paste and let's put it inside the frame 6. Let's press enter and finally the frame 4 into the frame 5. Perfect. Now let's save and test if we did everything Correct. File, save, then we go inside Blockbench and we can right click and refresh. Now let's see, and it works perfect. Now, as I said in the frame 5, I would like to change something. I would like to add a little bit of glow white. So let's do it. Now I finished the frame 5 and we are ready. Now let's select the configuration of our animation. Let's press right here and we will see. It will use this name of texture that is not correct. It is Thor Hammer Texture Animated.png. It doesn't use variables. The folder and namespace, it's not necessary to add unless you know how to create different namespace using texture packs. We have the render mode. You can Test with these options, I will just set it on default and the frame time is so important. It is how much time will need each frame, where 20 is 1 second. I would like a frame to long 12 ticks. So let's confirm and when we confirm we can test animation press, pressing right here. And perfect, we have the hammer ready. If we check 
the place or the folder where we saved our animated texture, we will see that now we have a Torhammer texture animated.png.mc meta. That is the file that set up the animation. If you check inside, you will see that is the same thing we wrote in the previous tutorial, creating animation with 2D textures. Anyways, now let's add it inside Minecraft. To achieve that, I will use the same texture pack I created in the previous tutorial. We just need assets and pack the NC meta. We will change instead of the netherite sword, we will change the netherite axe. So let's set it like netherite axe. Let's change this to netherite axe. In custom model data one, we will use the model called Thor Hammer and it will be inside the hammer folder. I will not use custom model data 2 so we can delete this line and remember to delete this comma if you are not using more than one custom model data. So let's save this and now let's update what we did. Instead of custom sword, it is hammer and now we don't need any of these JSONs. We will need the Thor Hammer JSON, that is the model. Where we are going to take it from? Well, we have to go to Blockbench, let's go to File, let's go to Export and Export Block Item Model. Let's save it and now we have on our desktop the Torhammer.json. Remember, the name must match. In this case, they are both the same, so it will work perfect. We are telling to Netherite Axe, use the model called Torhammer when it is on custom model data one. If the model doesn't exist, it will not work. Now, let's open this model and let's leave this right here. Now, let's go to textures and we will see inside item. I will delete this folder. I will create a folder called Hammer Textures. And inside it will be what we have. I mean, the texture animated and the file that set up the animation. Now let's open the JSON of our model and we can see where it is searching for the texture. It will be inside item hammer textures and Thor hammer texture animated. And the same here because that is the place where it is. Look above, it is inside textures, then item, hammer textures, and the animated texture. So now let's save and let's test our texture pack inside Minecraft. We are joining the world and let's test. Let's go to resource pack, let's put the texture pack 2 that we created now. Let's get the netherite axe. And we will see at least that we didn't mess up anything with the vanilla texture. Now let's get the netherite axe with custom model data one. And we will see that we messed up something. What was that? Well, I did it because there are many posts and people are asking me a lot inside DM on Discord this same error. What mistake did we do? Well, if we go to the texture pack, we'll go to item, netherite axe, we can see that everything is perfect. It is inside item hammer and it's called Thor hammer. Now this is the model that is not working perfect. We could think that something is bad here. Well, it is actually. Please, I will say it here and I will write it when editing the video. You can't use texture name with upper cases. So this texture is not valid. It has to be everything lowercase. So let's change it. And the same below. Now let's save and let's test. And we will see that the model works, but the texture is not showing up because the model hammer is looking for a texture that doesn't exist. 
because the texture we set it here has upper cases that is something we don't want let's set both names into lower cases and now let's test we will see that now it works we have our hammer with the animation we selected and it works perfect it has eight frames with each frame it glows up until the frame five and it becomes normal I forgot to edit how it looks inside the inventory remember it's on display and right here we can move it so to make it look better I don't know I wanted to show you how to create the animated text all this part I already explained it so it worked perfect we have our hammer with animated texture that means you now know how to create 3d models with animated textures now the limit is your imagination for example i will improve this hammer a little bit okay i already made the change i don't know if it will look nice but it's just to show you that the limit is the imagination and the amount of time you spend on what you're doing let's see how it looks now it has some lightning bolts i will slowly a bit let's see if now it looks better and okay yeah doesn't look too bad I don't know here we have the hammer the linings itself and that summons a couple of lining around now for example using executable items you could create something like this this is the final hammer if we hit moves it summons lightning bolt and the lightning heals us we are immune to fire and fire ticks we can launch ourselves into a group of zombies and apply damage around and the final part is that if we have a group of zombies we can come here for example and launch our hammer applying damage around and remember our hammer always come back to us so it will come back and apply damage again when returning this is the hammer we have that's it guys that is the hammer that you can do just creating textures and using executable items and executable event i hope you like it i hope you understood how to create animated 3d textures and remember the textures is one part and then the mechanic of the item itself is another i will repeat the same thing i said the limit is your imagination so let's practice I hope you understood everything, if you have any questions feel free to ask and see you.